Research data is one of the most valuable outputs from your research project. It holds immense value for you as the individual researcher, your institution and for the rest of society. There has always been an expectation that researchers will manage and describe their data so that it is clear and transparent, making your findings reproducible. But more recently, there is also a recommendation from government funders, research institutions and academic publishers that research data should be shared as much as possible to realise the greatest benefit to society. A lot of research data collected gets lost, or it's not archived or poorly described, which decreases research efficiency and creates costly duplicate efforts. This guide will provide instruction on how to reduce these risks and maximise the impact of your research by planning and managing your research data throughout the research life cycle from concept to publication. Research data are all of the evidence that inform or support your research findings. They include all the hard copy materials and digital material that has been generated in the course of your research, including the metadata concerning how, when, where and with what methods they were collected. They can be qualitative or quantitative materials, including interviews, observations, video and audio recordings, measurements, simulations, statistics, instrument readings and numerical data. Making Australia's research data fair means it is findable, accessible, interoperable and reusable. This supports knowledge discovery and innovation. To make datasets findable, all published data descriptions are assigned a persistent identifier in the form of a digital object identifier, or DOI, and they include a preferred citation for inclusion in reference lists. Data descriptions are shared to Research Data Australia, which is a national discovery portal for research datasets. Fair data does not necessarily have to be open access to be accessible. Data can be restricted due to privacy concerns, national security or commercial interests. Regardless, a published description should provide clarity and transparency around the conditions governing access and reuse. Using open file formats, unique identifiers and agreed vocabularies in the data and metadata achieves consistency and interoperability between different data sets and the systems that store and use them. And finally, reusable data sets include rich contextual description and clear communication of collection parameters. Sensitive data sets are often confidential as they can be used to identify an individual, species, object, process or location. This information could introduce a risk of discrimination, harm or unwanted attention for an individual or research subject, such as a vulnerable animal population. Sensitive data are commonly subject to legal and ethical obligations that impose restrictions on how they are accessed, used and handled. The data often simply can't be published and made openly accessible. The emphasis on fair data principles creates concern for Indigenous peoples who are asserting greater control over the use of Indigenous data and Indigenous knowledge for collective benefit. The care principles for Indigenous data governance are people and purpose oriented, reflecting the crucial role of data in advancing Indigenous innovation and self-determination. These principles complement the existing FAIR principles, encouraging open and other data movements to consider both people and purpose in their advocacy and pursuits. If your research data includes Indigenous data, the care principles describe how data should be treated to ensure that Indigenous governance over the data and its use are respected. Secondary analysis of existing data is common practice in many academic fields. Existing data can be used to conduct new research, test hypotheses or replicate findings from previous studies. Using existing data can improve efficiency and reduce costs in the data collection process. It can reduce participant fatigue and reduce duplication of efforts. All Western Sydney University datasets are published or indexed on Research Data Australia. Research Data Australia is an internet-based discovery service designed to provide rich connections between data, projects, researchers and institutions, and to promote the visibility of Australian research data collections in search engines. Google Data Search Search indexes many data into one single platform search. These include repositories such as WSU, the Research Data Australia portal, Dryad, OSF, Figshare and others. 
The Australian Data Archive provides a national service for the collection and preservation of digital research data, comprising seven sub-archives, social science, historical, indigenous, longitudinal, qualitative, crime and justice, and international. There is a difference between working storage and archival storage. Working storage is where you store the data you are working with on an active research project. Archival storage is where you store the final data from a completed research project. Western Sydney University offers both types of storage. For working storage, the university offers online storage options for researchers to use as a secure platform to store and share working data. Personal equipment and unsecured hard drives are not recommended as they do not protect data against unauthorised access, alteration, removal, destruction and accidental or intentional damage. Researchers can also use up to one terabyte of OneDrive Cloud. Up to five terabytes is available by contacting ITDS. Secure university network drives can also be used as they are accessed with your Western account login credentials and are systematically backed up by ITDS. The final data associated with a research project should be appropriately archived and made available for reuse and citation wherever possible and appropriate. Data sets associated with completed research projects are described and retained by the library in the Research Direct Repository, which are then submitted to the Research Data Australia portal. This increased exposure to Western Sydney University's research output may enable new collaborations and research opportunities. All finalised data sets are archived with a stable URL or DOI for citation purposes. A descriptive record will be retained in the library's repository for long-term access and archiving. The library works with ITDS to create secure long-term storage for archived data sets, taking into consideration privacy and access conditions associated with the data. Your school or institute may store both working data and archived research data locally with protocols that are specific, specific to your discipline. Speak to your school's research leads to gain access to these locations. Publishing research data is a key step in the scholarly publishing process because it promotes transparency, reproducibility and the validation of research methods. Research data are primary research outputs that can be openly published via Research Direct to Research Data Australia for maximum discoverability and reuse. Publicly available data records are associated with an increase in citations and they promote new opportunities for collaboration, improve efficiency and reduce costs, they reduce research participant fatigue, they provide credit to the researcher as a research output in its own right and they benefit the researchers of the future. Sensitive or private data can be shared via Research Direct with restricted access so that you can consider requests for your data against your criteria. When publishing sensitive data, the advantages of publishing your sensitive data will probably outweigh any potential disadvantages when simple and appropriate steps are taken. Sensitive data can often be anonymised and de-identified so that the value of the data collected can be realised without compromising the privacy of the research participants. Sensitive data that has been de-identified can be shared but researchers can also place conditions around access to the published data. The library can publish a description of your data, which means others can discover it and cite it without making the data itself openly accessible. This is a metadata only record that can be issued with a DOI if appropriate and made discoverable through the Research Data Australia portal. Publishing a metadata only record increases the visibility the visibility of your research, which leads to new collaborations, increased citations and greater research impact. Many journal publishers require openly published data or a data availability statement as part of their manuscript submission process, often requiring an archived location in an institutional repository such as Research Direct. Funders of research are also increasingly interested in maximising the value of research data and may require you to have a data management plan in place. They may also require the researcher to provide a record of the archived location of the data in an institutional repository. 
Australia's two major funding bodies have long recognised the value of proactive data management planning and providing access to research data wherever possible. Since 2020, the ARC has required that successful grant recipients have a data management plan in place prior to the commencement of the research project. The ARC open access poli policy does not currently mandate open access to data, but it is committed to maximising the benefits from ARC funded research and encourages researchers to deposit data arising from research projects in publicly accessible repositories. The NHMRC strongly encourages researchers to develop a research data management plan that considers the reuse value of their data and to take reasonable steps to share this research data and associated metadata arising from NHMRC supported research. Additional detail on the National Approach for Data Management and Sharing is available in the Australian Code for the Responsible Conduct of Research 2018 and the Associated Guide Management of Data and Information in Research. Any intellectual property arising from the creation of research data is subject to Western Sydney University's intellectual property policy and research data management policy. The university grants the ownership of copyright in scholarly works or creative works created by an employee in the course of their employment to the employee. Unless otherwise agreed in writing, the university will, in its capacity as an employer, own all data and data sets developed by employees in the course of employment with the university except for scholarly works such as books, book chapters, published journal articles, research papers and other published materials. Students, as they are not employees of the university, generally own the intellectual property that they create, subject to any written agreement to the contrary entered into by the student. A file naming convention is a framework for naming your files that describes what they contain and how they relate to other files. You should establish a convention and naming practice that aligns with your discipline standards before you begin collecting data files. File names should be machine readable, human readable and work well with the default ordering. They should be consistently named and have short but descriptive file names, less than 25 characters. They should use underscores in place of spaces, dots or slashes and use a consistent date and version number format. A logical folder structure will allow you to better access your files. Before you start, check for any established procedures within your team or department. One best practice is to structure folders hierarchically and be consistent with names. Whether you are storing your data in cloud storage, local drives or network locations, a well-planned, logical and consistent folder and file structure will help to make the data findable and reusable for your future self. There are many self-guided learning programs on this subject available through LinkedIn Learning and other platforms. Western Sydney University conducts regular research training sessions including data manipulation and visualisation, using R and Python, Excel for data analysis, surveying with Qualtrics and REDCap, text analysis with Envivo and preparing your research data management plan. <laughs>